machinery we've got a different dumper because my other one's in for repair we've got the small machine so it looks like there's overweight on there but in actual fact that weighs three quarters of a ton the dumper weighs half a ton so that's a ton and a quarter and about a ton and a half in total with the bits and it's a ton and three quarter t truck so we're strictly within the law anyway let's get round the entry not too bad of an access to this house actually we're going to look at the water problem and uh, what's happening is we've got a lot of water actually running into the property from the entry this is the house we have to put the drain in and the water is literally running like a river it is raining but it hasn't been raining like that much lately we've had a bit of a heat wave and the water is coming from round here we've sandbagged it all up we've had a new fence since i was last here looking at the job so what i was going to do because the water is actually coming ah you can see it you can see it moving about in there it's coming underneath the fence and going straight underneath the fence, underneath, well when them sandbags aren't there it's running across here and straight into the garden that way and also at the same time flooding the whole entry so it's flooding this entry it's running out here and uh, I don't know where it's actually going it looks like it's flooding a lot of other people's gardens as well and uh, anyway it's going in here and um, causing mayhem in this garden really you know it's totally flooded so really it's illegal for this water to be coming here um, it's actually coming from the house uh, across the entry I don't know the address of but uh, and then it's coming onto council land and then from the council land it's actually coming into the private property so I would say I'm not an authority on this but I would say that if the water's coming from the council land it's the council's responsibility so I think it should be taken up with the council and the council should take it up with the with the neighbours so anyway I'm going to go and get unloaded uh, the only place we can put this is into the manor on the only people on the people's uh, own property which is not illegal and they've had permission so that's what we're going to do i'm going to go and get unloaded right managed to get the machinery in bit of a struggle getting this dump around the corner i think it was easy because it's flexible but uh, it's all in here now taking the lid off the manhole and it seems as if storm water is running in there already so shouldn't be a problem so what I'm going to do I'm going to get the grinder and I'm going to cut a section of that ring out of there I want to disturb the top of it and uh, just run the pipe straight in so there you go yeah so as you can see We've got a, a beautiful, typical summer's day with complete with liquid sunshine. But we've just got to make the best of it. We dress for the occasion. Anyway, I shall continue on, and uh, hopefully we'll make some good progress today. Well, just a catch up. I've actually made a hole with the grinder through through the manhole. So you think in the trench there, it's already starting to get full of water. But um so while I'm I'm sitting there with these couple of roots out, some roots in the ground here and uh, 
ones here. And I've put them on the dumper now. And uh, put that last one there to put on. And uh, go on out and start loading the truck. One dumper load on the truck, but up in there, we've a little channel from the entrance and get some of that water escape straight into the drain. That's just to sort of try and ease the pressure. Well, I'm going to be beginning the rest of the spin. Well, I'm trying to dig the trench down here. It's unsuccessful. You can see the water's running in to the magnet. So you just throw it away. A big lump of concrete that just dug out. Probably a bit of noise. That looks like a previous fence post. I don't know if I'm going to hit any more of those going along here. But it's certainly going to wind up a lot more material going away from what I anticipate the machine sinking in there. Right, well, that dumper's loaded. I'm going to take this out now. I will you come with me on this trip. It's a bit more easy. Concrete will probably jam under the tailboards when I try to tip that off. So that's another awkward job when I get to this hill. Never mind. We'll take this. We'll take this back in.
too wet. Put the camera down. Well, it's raining, but I'll take a chance on it. This camera gets wet. Oh, it gets wet. Let's move. Let's stop out the way. Let's just sit on the table. You never know. Let's see. as best I can. You can see that the water is actually trickling in there from outside the entry. So that's coming off the council land that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that round and link it in with this one over here and then bring one from there and link them both together to form a sort of a Y junction. Anyway, when you're doing that, you've seen the boring bit. I'll show you a bit more when I get uh, a little bit more progress made. Coming up straight up in the afternoon, and it's still running. I'm getting any lower, still running. I've got this trench now and sort of wired it up in that direction. But the water isn't coming from. Uh, the entry has yet to come. It's got the sandbags stopping it, so I have to go out there and investigate. I might have to dig a channel into the fence. I'll go around and have a look. See what we can do around here. Not particularly far on this. Play it by ear. See, normally the water wouldn't run down here. It would normally run straight 
under the fence. So I think what I'll do, I'll make this channel, I'll move a couple of sandbags, I might have to take up one of the slabs, dig a little bit out to get the gravel. I think that's what I'll do. dump a load of gravel and there's probably nearly another load left. You know what? I'm not going to be very far off. That's the last bit of the gravel goes into the dumper. I'm just going to take the bigger bag in now. And we've got to just finish off back to the trench. And it's done. So on and put the little finish. So I've got to go all the chippings in. I'm just going to go and level it off a little bit. Level the chippings off and then try and Back for it and bring it up to level. I've got that tight up there filled in with chippings and all the mud put back. It's not a great job, but it wasn't a great job in the beginning with all the swampy ground. You, can, you can't really do anything with it. And they did say, well, best time to do it is now, so we can see, we can actually see the results. Well, this is just a sea of mud. But what I'm doing, I'm getting it down to almost a level and uh, just smoothing it off a little bit. There's nothing I can do about a finish and the customer knows that, so I'll get it as near ship shape as I can. It's been quite easy to tidy it up to the brake and stuff at the later date. Throw a bit of seed around it and it'll be fine. But the flood is actually gone. The water level out here uh, there's still some in the entrance, but that does tend to soak away on its own. It's gone down like from this level. This, this water here is still trapped because these sandbags are in the way. But the water from the next garden is still crossing over nicely and going into the drain. So everything I've done has worked. Um, I did suggest a channel from the gateway into the drain while I was here, but they seem to think that this will drain away on its own when the supply gives up from around there. is under there. This really wasn't a lift. I wasn't able to save it. I will work my way out and kind of get um, get this right all the way through and then we'll get loaded up on the way. Time is it? It's uh it's half past eight in the evening, I think. Wow. A one day challenge. <laughs> yeah, could be. Thought I was gonna be here two days though. I really did, especially when it was raining at the time, like it was today. I didn't actually wish to get here. 
this morning, thinking you might stop raining, but they found some things like that in England. And now we're going to get the thing up there as well. And the whole road and the rain. I don't know why it's worse, but we're going to go the other way. I'll just go and dig around the kitchen. So, let's get this stuff right here. in the beginning but we're here now this is great well, we have enough room yep so let's just get it as tight as we can and uh, pull the track back out and we don't want it to pin over do we That's everything loaded and broke down. Let's go and have a final scan round. Right, well, here we are. Graded it off as much as I can, um, considering the weather and the mud, and everything's working fine. I'm just right. Well, the, the job's complete, and uh, the clients, uh, Liz, and. Uh, Rob, yeah, Liz and Rob, they're both here, but they're a bit camera shy, so they won't go on. But anyway, can I ask them, are you happy with the job and is everything going to be okay for you? Yes, we're extremely happy, thank you very That's much. That's great, okay. You've worked very hard. And well, I got very wet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you very much, and it's been a pleasure working for you. Thank you for the hospitality and everything. And uh, I've done my very best on it, and I wanted to get it finished today to, you know, save you all the hassle of having all this going on around you. Anyway, okay. thanks very much, and have thank a great you. evening. Thank you very thank much. You very Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Bye. Well, that was good. All loaded up. Ready to go. Oh, I wish my lungs would get better. Um, yeah. So, a one day challenge. It was meant to be two, but we've done it in one. Anyway, thanks for watching. You know where we are. We're in the, in the Warwickshire of West Midlands area. Of England. Alright. Take care. Bye.